little jazz piano trio from England from in 1968, and the piano player had a heart attack. And when he came out of the hospital in 1970, he found that this band fronted by Ozzy Osbourne was doing all his songs and calling it Black Sabbath. So these are, you know, obviously it's just, a, you know, they're just goofing around. Who would this CD LP be for? Fans of Black Sabbath or fans of jazz? Everybody? <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, like it's, it's perfectly decent piano jazz, you know. So yeah, people who are into that, I mean, big Sabbath fans, it's always, you know, bands like that, you know, everybody has bought every album multiple times. So you're always looking for uh, a new take on this music that you love. You know, Beatles fans are the same way. All right, the next album we have on the list, Jason Isbell and the 400 Unit Reunions. Right, and um, this is not any kind of like, they didn't break up, it's nothing like that. It's just, that's just a name for it. It's not, a, you know, it's not, it's not like, whatever, reunion, reunion. Um, so this is J Jason Isbell's new album. It just came out at independent stores. Everybody else has to wait till Friday. He decided to let us have a jump on it just because, um, well, you know, we're hurting just like everybody else. But it's uh, for people who are fans of his, the solo is exactly what, what you'd want. It's, um, you know, it's sort of that older country sound. There's some roots rock in there. And, uh, you know, he's a great songwriter, always getting better. And I guess, you know, if you know Sturgill Stimson, well, you know, Jason Isbell would be kind of the first version of that. So, okay. So, so if you want to jump on this album, Bull Moose is the place to get it. Oh, if you want, yeah, a couple, sure, yes. Or your favorite independent music store, sure, anywhere else, not just us, but yeah, we'd appreciate it. All right, we've got a film next on the list, yeah, Call yeah. of the Wild. This was Harrison Ford in a different way. Different way, still exploring, but yeah, yeah right. So obviously it's the, I mean, not obviously, but it's the Jack London book, it's a Disney movie. And so it's very much a, a Disney action movie, PG rated. And there is a distracting amount of CGI, like the dog is CGI, all the animals are CGI, you know. It's not necessarily grainy and jumpy, it's more like just the unrealistic expressions or something like that. Like it's not like a cartoon, you know, but it's, it's definitely, um, yeah, maybe a little too good. Sometimes doesn't look natural. Next on the list, we have various artists. We've got Pacific Breeze 2, Japanese City Pop, AOR, am I saying that right? And mm -hmm. Boogie? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, AOR, that's like uh, the Carpenters. They get bands like that. Okay. The Doobie Brothers. So this so, is Volume 2. What can people expect out of this album? Well, it's a lot like Volume 1. And um, so none of this stuff has been available in the United States before. It's, uh, you know, Japanese, like, synth pop mixed with, like, a little funk and disco. And sometimes there's that, like, uh, sort of cheesy, smooth jazz um, Rhodes piano sound on there also. Um, but what's really interesting about this music is that a lot of it is sort of like, it's like kind of intended for hanging out at the beach. So a lot of the album covers of the original releases are, have this like sort of beach look like, uh, I don't know if you remember, you might not remember Ocean Pacific, like beats, kind of like sportswear from the 80s, but it's really- I do, I yeah, do. Yeah, it's, that, it's like, it's like uh, music to wear that stuff too, or music to design those kinds of clothes too. I don't know. You know, leave the members only jacket at home and just bring your big, long, puffy, uh, billowy shirt with 